Good morning, friends. It's morning in our house. Say good morning, hubby. Good morning, hubby. He's so funny. I wanted to make a video today because some people had asked about me doing a video of some tips and tricks. And I feel like today's video is going to be like the best tip, trick ever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend all day today showing you guys zero point foods and snacks and all that fun stuff. And the reason I'm doing that is because tonight I'm going to go to my brother's house. We're going to celebrate Mother's Day. And I know that we're going to have a lot of delicious foods there. And I feel like what I wanted to do is I wanted to save all of my points today. All 23 of my points for dinner tonight. So that way I can just walk into this evening feeling like I got it. So that's my plan today. Are you guys excited? Woo -woo. I'm excited. I love doing stuff like this. Like literally, it makes me so excited. This is what I love so much about Weight Watchers is that nothing is off limits. I feel like if somebody were to say to me, okay, you can't have this, you can't have this, and you can't have this. Then I'm like, but I want that so bad. And then I want it even more. And then I start thinking about it. And then I'm like, I have to have it. So I just love that I can eat whatever I want with Weight Watchers. And now with Weight Watcher Freestyle, I think it's amazing because they have given us so many foods that are zero points that you can make a whole day of stuff out of. So I hope you guys are ready to enjoy the day with me. What I would suggest is starting with some coffee and just sit back, relax, and enjoy watching this video, okay? All right, so now, speaking of coffee. Whoa! Don't you hear the heaven singing? Hallelujah. When you're drinking your coffee. Ugh. Hubby is making waffles for the kids and him. Yummy, yummy. And you know what? I don't even feel like I'm missing out. Like, I know if I wanted it, I could have it. But I don't want it. I want to save all of my points for tonight. So anyways, coffee. I feel like I've shared this 10 million times. I feel like I might even be annoying people with how much I'm sharing it. But in case you're watching for the first time, welcome. And the way I make my coffee is I do cashew milk. So this is the cashew milk that I get. You get two thirds cup for zero points, which is like amazing and it tastes good. In my opinion, it's creamier than almond milk and basically it's amazing. And then, um, should have had everything right here prepared, but I didn't. Hold on. The other thing we make is our own cold brew with the toddy coffee. You guys, it makes the best cold brew ever. In fact, I'm going to show you something. Okay, hold on another second. It is the best black coffee ever. Okay, this is the coffee we buy. And it's like close to two pounds. And um, it's like like the cheapest coffee you could buy. I mean, it's, I think it's six dollars, five ninety nine. Five ninety nine, right? That's better than six. <laughs> Waiting for something from him. Uh, it's, it's six dollars for two pounds. And we can get two batches, two big batches out of this. So three dollars a batch, and I kid you not, Everybody who has tried our coffee is like, what? This is so good. We have never, never had anybody say, Ugh. that's awful. I mean, I guess that would be rude, so who would say that? But it doesn't matter because it's not, Ugh. it's really, really, really good, okay? So do yourself a favor. If you love coffee, get yourself the toddy coffee and whatever coffee you want to buy. I'm just saying we're on a budget because I'm a stay-at-home mom. Well, sort of. Now I have, I'm a part-time Weight Watcher receptionist, but very part-time. That's my goal, because I want to be with my babies. But um, anyways, uh, yeah. So just saying, they makes the best coffee. And then the other thing I add to my coffee is this. Um, you could use any sugar-free syrup. I use that coconut syrup because I can get it at this place called <laughs> Cash and Carry. And it's kind of like a Costco just different but kind of like it and I can get syrups there for under five dollars for a bottle which is a killer deal but you know I've heard places like Home Goods and Marshalls and TJ Maxx you can find those skinny syrups and 
and of course online and things like that. Um, that's just where I get mine. So, anyways, all of that makes the best zero point coconut latte. So good. I feel like that was a long story just to tell you about a coconut latte. Anyways, okay, well, I'll check back later when I get my breakfast made, okay? Bye. Okay, so I have not started my breakfast yet, mostly because I'm on hold with hubby. And look at Riley's breakfast. I just had to show you guys. Look how cute she is, first of all. But, but I think it's so fun because she likes to decorate her food like like her mama. What? It looks like you decorated. It's so pretty. It's gorgeous. And yes, this is how we serve waffles in our house. We are... Yeah. You're not? Oh, maybe. Yeah, I actually cannot make my breakfast today because what I wanted to make, I need hubby's help on because I'll just say now I'm gonna make an omelet and every time I make an omelet it turns out to be a scramble so I'm waiting for him to finish up the kids and I should wait for him to eat his breakfast that would be nice and then I'll say please 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 I'll be with mine no you can eat first it's fine anyways so Coffee, everything's better with coffee. There we go. Even the rebels are better with coffee. Mm. May twenty fourth. Nobody. Solo. Nobody commented on the beard question yet. I guess that means they agree with me. That was a lot of work. I like your. I that like was. your beard. <laughs> Hey, so I'm back. Um, my husband made my breakfast. Let me show you guys the picture. And all this breakfast is made with is two eggs, sauteed veggies, a little bit of minced garlic. I sprayed my pan down with some nonstick spray and then I actually add just a little bit of water to kind of, once it's heated up good, to get the steam going to saute it. Works perfect. And then, what I added, I feel like that took my little omelet to a whole new level of yumminess, is four grams of feta cheese inside, and oh man, so good. You know what, that actually was my first time, I think, having feta with eggs. I've heard of people doing it, and just never tried it, and my life has changed, right? Ha ha ha. Anyways, um, and then I also have my banana, and then I thought I'd show this to you guys. I'm almost out. I'm going to have to go get more. I've had this for kind of a long time, you guys. Um, if you guys like peanut butter, this stuff, you can get one tablespoon for zero points. And that's like incredible. So I just add a little bit of water to mine. And I didn't even use a tablespoon worth. I just drizzle a little bit on top and put a tiny sprinkle of um, unsweetened coconut on top. And this whole plate is zero points, which to me is just... Incredible. All right, you guys. It's been a few hours since I checked in. Can you, can you give my, my cookie? Can you give me just a minute, I said? Okay. Um, It's been crazy. Sometimes I forget how busy Saturdays are, which is probably why I don't normally film a lot on Saturdays because it's just crazy all the time. But that being said, I'm sticking with my zero part, my zero smart point food today. And, um... I had this plan in my head of everything I was going to make and you guys I have a problem. I am a moody eater. Like I that's why I don't plan too far ahead like because my moods change. I'm a moody eater like I said. Okay. So this was not on my plan for what I was going to make today but I'm going to roll with it. So I'm going to take this a little bit of that some water and I'm going to make I'm gonna attempt making my own homemade hummus. I made something kind of like this a while ago when I was doing Simply Filling and uh, made a zero point hummus and it turned out great. I mean, it's not the same as like regular hummus, but it's still pretty good. And right now I'm feeling this like need to like 
chew, you know, like chew on food. I don't want to like sip a protein shake or anything like that. I want to like chew on something. So I feel like this is going to be a perfect zero smart point snack. So I'm going to get started on that and I will show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. Okay. Okay. So here is what I made. Definitely not, um, Pinterest beautiful, but I tried a little bite and it's really good. So what I did was I just took my can of chickpeas, rinsed them, drained them, rinsed them, and then I have a Nutribullet, blended it in that, and I put a little bit of garlic salt, and then I actually decided um, to add a teeny little bit of that. I'm sorry, you guys, I didn't measure it out. Um, and it tastes really good. So I'm gonna slice up some vegetables, and I'm gonna sit down and snack on this for a nice zero smart point snack. Get me through till lunchtime. All right, check back with you guys later. Peace out. Hey, so it's been quite a few hours since I, since I checked in and I had lunch. I'll go ahead and show it to you guys. All I did was I had some lettuce, which was actually picked from my garden. And then, um, I did some tomato and pepper on top, and then I had some grilled chicken, and then, um, oh yeah, I had half a tablespoon of that is zero points, and that added a nice crunch to my salad, and then I used um, that salad dressing that's in the picture, zero points, and it's so good, oh my goodness. So me and my husband have out been, so me and my husband have been out doing errands, and I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of tough to be doing this whole zero point thing today doing errands and I started to feel kind of hungry and almost tired not almost tired definitely tired and I think that some of that is because I am not eating probably as much as normal and I think that part of that's it's just been a busy day and then um I don't think I'm eating quite as much protein maybe I don't know all I know is I'm feeling tired like more tired than normal and I only thing I can think of is just what I'm eating today so anyways just got home and I made myself a zero point protein pudding so what this has is non-fat plain Greek yogurt you can do as much as you want of it because it's zero points so just whatever your heart desires and then I've got four grams of a sugar-free pudding mix this happens to be cheesecake flavor which is delicious and then the protein powder that I use, this is the protein powder that I use, and 14 grams of it, which is pretty much half a scoop, works out to be zero points. And that's an amazing deal. So I made my protein pudding. I'm gonna enjoy this. And then in about an hour, we're gonna head off to our family's house for that dinner I was telling you guys about. And I'm really excited to just treat myself so my plan is I don't think I'm gonna record any of my time there because it's too hectic with my kids and on top of that I just want to be in the moment and enjoy it so whatever event you guys have that you guys want to go to whether you know like I said before whether it's like a wedding date night birthday party and you want to like save all your points for it I just feel like these are some really just fun quick easy ideas that you guys can do to have all of these zero point foods that you can save 20, well, I have 23 points a day, so however many points you have, everybody's got a different amount of points, but you can save all of those points for that event and not feel like you have to miss out. So, anyways, I think that's all I've got for you guys. And um, as always, you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. You guys are always so sweet about that. And, um, a question I have for you if you guys want to share is what's your favorite zero smart point snack or zero smart point meal? Please share that in the comments down below and I hope that all of you guys will take time to look through those comments so that you can find even more inspiration and more ideas for a day that might come up that you want to try a zero smart point day. So anyways, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you guys liked it and that's all I've got for you. See you guys in my next video. Bye!